students, welcome to the first lesson on mixtures and separation techniques. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify mixtures and list the components present in mixtures. Also, you should be able to list the different methods of separating mixtures, also known as separation techniques. So, let's start. You learnt in lower grades that air consists of several gases, such as oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapour and other gases. Hence, air is a mixture of gases. Seawater is salty. Seawater consists of water, salt and small amount of other substances. Hence, seawater is a mixture. Another common example of a mixture is a fruit salad. This fruit salad consists of strawberries, grapes, orange, kiwi and blueberries. As you may have noticed, we are surrounded by many mixtures, which are made up of different components. Now, observe the following pictures, which illustrate some mixtures. You will be required to list the different components in each mixture. So, observe the pictures carefully and identify the different components present in each mixture. A mixture of sand and water consists of sand, a solid component, and water, a liquid component. A suspension of copper to carbonate in water is a mixture of copper to carbonate and water. Sodium chloride solution is a mixture of sodium chloride and water. Copper to sulfate solution is a mixture containing dissolved copper to sulfate and water. Is a mixture of several colored dyes or pigments and other substances. For example, green ink 
is a mixture which consists of blue and yellow dyes suspended in a solvent. When we expose a piece of paper with ink to a solvent like water, the colored components of the ink spread across the paper. From the previous activities, you now understand that a mixture is made up of different components. Therefore, we can define a mixture as follows. A mixture is made up of two or more components that are not chemically combined. Since we are surrounded by mixtures, quite often we would like to separate these mixtures in order to obtain their components and to identify the different components of a mixture. This is why we need to devise methods of separation known as separation techniques. There are several separation techniques we can use to separate mixtures. To decide which technique to use, we need to consider the physical properties of the components in the mixture. Physical properties include particle size, density, solubility, boiling point, and magnetism. Some examples of separation techniques include filtration, crystallization, simple distillation, sublimation, and chromatography. Filtration is usually used to separate small undissolved solid particles from a liquid. From a suspension of copper to carbonate in water, copper to carbonate can be obtained by performing filtration. Crystallization is used to separate soluble solids from a solution. This method involves evaporating the liquid from the mixture to form a saturated solution until the solid is formed. In order to obtain copper to sulfate crystals, from its solution, crystallization is performed. Simple distillation is used to obtain a liquid from a solution. The process of simple distillation is based on boiling point of the liquid present. Therefore, if we want to obtain water from seawater, distillation can be used. Sublimation is used to separate a mixture of solids, one of which sublimes. For example, ammonium chloride is a substance which sublimes and therefore it can be separated 
from a mixture of ammonium chloride and sodium chloride by sublimation method. Chromatography is another separation technique. It is used to separate and identify components in mixtures, like in ink and dyes. Now, let's have a look at some questions which may help you consolidate what you have learned today. Question 1. Which of the following is a mixture? A. Oxygen B. Seawater C. Sodium chloride or D. Solid iodine The answer is B, seawater. As you have learned, seawater is a mixture containing water, sodium chloride, and other dissolved substances. Question 2. Which of the following is true about mixtures? A. A mixture is a pure substance. B. A mixture consists of components chemically combined together. C. A mixture consists of components which are not chemically combined together. O. D. Components of mixtures cannot be separated. As you learned previously, a mixture is made up of components which are not chemically combined together. Therefore, the answer is C. Now, try to complete the following sentences using the list of separation techniques given. A liquid can be obtained from a solution by distillation. An insoluble solid can be separated from a suspension by filtration. A soluble solid can be obtained from a solution by crystallization. Pigments from inks can be identified by the process of chromatography. From this lesson, you are now familiar with mixtures and the components. You have learned that a mixture is made up of two or more components that are not chemically combined. You must have also understood that the components of a mixture can be separated based on their physical properties. And methods of separation known as separating techniques include filtration, crystallization, distillation, sublimation, and chromatography. Goodbye.